Welcome along guys, well it's wet, it's raining, I'm filthy, it can only mean one thing, we're back out on the Enduros again. The, the 300 TE from Husky has gone back, I now have the 350 EXCF which is the 4 stroke 350, the 2020 bike, quite a lot of revisions for this year, it's a bit of a beast for a 350 I have to say. We've met up with Pete again, two other guys, Andy and Schaff, not Schaff, Scaff. <laughs> <laughs> They've got some older 450 EXEs. Amazing how much these have changed since the new generation machines, but that's enough chatter. Let's go and get dirty. This is a great bike. I've had this for... Well, this is only the second time I've been out on this. So I'm still relatively new to it. After coming from the uh, the 300 two-stroke, I'm finding it really strange having engine braking, and I'm not actually sure that I like having the engine braking. This is literally a stream. That's soggy. That is soggy. Oh, that's a lot of luggage. Oh, but. Oh, so close. So for 2020, Katie have done a lot of work to this. A lot of work to the engine. They've made it more powerful. They've given it more torque. And they've made it lighter. The whole power plant now only weighs 28 kilos. They've really gone through it. They've changed the exhaust system. They've changed the injection system. They've changed the cooling system. Basically everything. The bike only weighs 103 kilos, 103.8. The 300 TPI two-stroke is only 200 grams lighter. And that's a two-stroke, a much simpler engine design. This is only 200 grams heavier. This really does have the agility of the 250 with the grunt and the torque almost of the 450. So it's a brilliant intermediate bike. And this is why these absolutely sell in droves. This is a bit wet, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite deep. Turning around now. I'm gonna practice my pivot turns. Look at that, bloody pro me, bloody pro. I'm quite impressed with that. <laughs> Let's go for the berm a bit, bit of berm, bit of berm action. Chalk, 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 chalk. This is a bit, it's a bit dry actually. Oh yeah. Yoo How'd you go on, Pete? All right. Yeah. It's quite tough that one, isn't it? Feeling a little bit rusty. Yeah, I, I can't stand up on that one. It's just too loose yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah. Have you got the double chalk drop off on this route where you're going to go? That's your favourite, that Pete, isn't it? Give you a wipe. Hell yeah. So back to the 350 specs. This has the WP Explorer suspension. I said it was Apex on the uh, the other review. It's not. It's the Explorer version. The Apex is the road bike version. So WP Explorer. 300 mil of travel up front. Amazing. And I think it's 310 mil travel on the rear shock. For this year, it's been tweaked. Everything on this bike has been tweaked for 2020. Small revisions. The big changes are to the frame. The frame's had a lot of changes. The, the, the rigidity of it has been changed. It's much stiffer. The mounting points to the engine are now billet aluminium and all other little tweaks like that. The bodywork is changed as well. So you know, the whole bike, they've been through the whole bike, revised and tweaked all over the damn thing. I must say a little welcome as well. If you may have noticed, uh, Ultimate Add-ons are now a sponsor of the channel. Ultimate Add-ons make these cases, these fully waterproof cases, which are absolutely perfect. 
for doing this sort of activity on where your phone needs is protected it's dry even if you've got a waterproof phone this just keeps the dirt out of it the sponsors i sort of have on here the products that i use and i endorse if you like i don't i don't not interested in sponsoring anyone if it isn't motorcycle related and quality products it's got to be good stuff and, and i've always used this ultimate add-on stuff i've never had a problem they do camera mounts and all sorts of other stuff as well so link in the description go and check them out another thing i've done to this bike because i've really struggled to find the rear brake on these it's so small the rear brake lever when you've got great big hoofing enduro boots on it's really hard to get to it so i've got an extended rear brake platform i guess you'd call it and it's so much easier now for my rear brake just to be there i was actually scratching up the crank cases the clutch cover quite badly where my foot was sort of digging towards the cover trying to find it so that has really helped knowing that i've got a bit of i can actually brake on the rear and it's just there it gives you a lot more confidence as well these are classed as off-road bikes they don't have to conform to the same euro 5 regulations as as the street bikes so it's slightly different that's why it's so goddamn loud and that's how they get away with still having two strokes these days because it is less strict the off-road bike rules or off-road vehicles in general i guess this way <laughs> nearly whiskey dude that's the trouble i give it a throttle when i've stood up <laughs> it just gets away with me a bit oh yeah Woohoo! have some of that this is the nightmare lane now everyone's favorite i'll just tip my goggles off because i can't and just be careful on this bit you don't get a twig in the eye because uh, it going so slow in a minute and it, it, they just steam up even with my new they're still steaming it's these conditions where it's wet and foggy like this of course they steam up i don't know what else elsie's aunt maybe i'm just a sweaty betty I'm just going to get in the right here because you'll just end up in it otherwise when you don't want to be this will look like nothing on the GoPro <coughs> but believe me this one is really quite challenging another mistake I realised I was making is I had way too much air in the tyres way too much pressure and that was really making it slide about now I've dropped the pressure to about, I think I'm about 10-ish PSI now for this wet muddy stuff which I believe is about as low as you can go on tube tyres without the tube getting pinched but he hasn't gone in the, uh, the rut again he's going to regret that why didn't you go in the rut? Like the rut's your friend no, I can't do it. the rut's your friend sir <sighs> sorry if this sounds like a porn film but it does require a fair bit of a uh, I literally cannot stop. I'm literally just sliding. Oh, there you go, Bill. You alright? <laughs> Coming through. You're a bit keen, Pete, aren't you? <laughs> Pete was there. Little poop was going then. I guarantee it. Just do not touch the brakes. Roll it. Show us what you're made of. Bloody pro! This is the next one now. Hit the speed up, let it roll! <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, Peter's got a tougher job now. He should have got in the rut. Like Uncle Chops told him. Well done, that man. Well done, that man. This is what it's all about, pushing. Pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. This is what I do love about Enduro. It's so foreign for me, coming from road bike background. It's just so much fun. And what else would you do in the winter? It'd be raining today. I'd have been sat home going, oh, it's raining. Can't go out. Because I'm riding on the road in the rain. It's no fun. You go, oh, yes, I ride my bikes all year round. But it's boring. Yes, you can dress for the conditions. You can stay warm. You can stay dry. But it's just boring pooling around in the rain 
Give me this any day of the week. So slippery, isn't it? Yeah. You want to go up here, you say? No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give it the berries. They're coming from the 250. I, I sort of alluded to this just a minute ago. I don't know if I managed to finish what I was saying. But you don't have any, it's not sort of, the, the two strokes, it's not that on or off power. They will sit at neutral throttle and just glide along. Like, it's almost like a bit fluffy. Whereas on the fours, it's like you've got engine braking or you're accelerating. It's very hard to sit at a neutral throttle position. Now, whether you should be sitting at a neutral throttle position is another matter entirely. Hooray! But it's what I've noticed and why I was actually warming to the two strokes. I went too high gear, we drop it down a cod. There we go. Now we use the engine braking jumps. Dirty, mucky, power. Sloppy, sloppy Giuseppe's. That's a big old. Oh, I stole it. <laughs> They're over the pissing handlebars. One thing I've noticed on the KTM's over the the Huskers, Husqvarna's, is the KTM's have the Brembo brakes, whereas the Huskies have the oh, have the Magura Magura brakes. This is quite sloppy. And uh, I do find the Brembo's give more of a bite. Oh, Lucy Goosey. I'm actually keeping up with these guys now. That's uh, I'm quite pleased with myself there. Ish. Tree down. Let's go this way. Hello. Love it. There's been a lot of storms lately, a lot of wind. That's why these are so good, these little light bikes. Nip through that. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't really, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll have a bit of that. Yeah, this is a great little lane, this one. This is where we test out, test out our log crossing abilities. Wow. Well done, that man. First time I've successfully done one of them. <laughs> you got another one now. <laughs> Don't get too excited. I mean, I'm 6'2", I could really do with some rises to be able to stand a little bit more comfortably. If this was my bike, I'd probably get some. I know people say, yeah, it changes the geometry and makes the bike turn too quickly or slows down the steering. I don't know which way around it is. But I just leant forward a bit much, you know. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I don't need them. Maybe I should just learn with the standard height bars. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that, you taller off-road riders. I say I'm only 6'2", I'm not, I'm not a giant. I don't like standing on the Sandy Mandy. I'll have to. We've got some air there, I think. Bloody air. Right, you've got to leave it on the power and the sand, otherwise if you load the front up, it digs in and goes mental. Western Superman next year. Do a tight one. Oh, a bit of sand, a bit of everything this ride. Got a bit of everything. Whoa! We've got air! Whoa! 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 Don't, don't whiskey throttle it! Whoa! Whoa! There we go guys, little taster of the 350 EXC Air. It's a beastly bike! 
absolutely beastly. I'll probably be out on it again at some stage or another. But uh, thanks for watching. I don't know what I'm going to be on next, enduro-wise. I may buy something else. We'll see. Anything particularly you want to see me try from the Husqvarna or KTM range, then let me know. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I told you I was scared about that. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind get beat up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>